Hey guys, Joshua Bain Tech. I've got Sadio's Ledger case from the Note 3. We'll get this unboxed, take a look at it, see what we think. Stay tuned. Just to take a look around the packaging real quick, just to see what it all entails. You know, you get the full preview of what the case is through this uh, see-through part here. Then you also get the description, Ledger View. It's a flip case plus a kickstand, so that's pretty cool. Flip it on over to the back, and it's going to tell you more about the features. The Ledger View, so it's got the S View. It's got a kickstand, which is just cool. Like, not many flip covers have a kickstand. And it's lightweight, so really cool stuff. Let's get it unboxed. If you're familiar with Sadia's Ledger case, it's got the same material here on the outside. And the best way I can describe it is kind of like a cloth slash like plastic feel. Um, it's, it's really interesting, but it's protective at the same time. You got a little uh, you know, protective sticker here to keep that glass nice and clean. Sadia logo here. And as we open it up, you have the red accent on the inside, which is a nice little touch. Get rid of the foam. I wasn't expecting this at all. This is actually really cool. Uh, this is going to replace the back cover of the Note 3. So I like that a lot because that's going to cut down on the, the bulk. It's not a case on top of uh, on top of the phone. So it's just really neat. These little dots here are actually connector pins. And what that's going to do is activate the S View feature. So that's really cool. It connects with that so that we have those features available. So if you're wondering what those dots are, that's what that's for. And basically, when you put it on, you see these three dots here, that's where it connects to. And actually, like if you have wireless charging adapters and stuff like that, that's how that works as well. So these little pins here, they activate some features on your phone that you might not have been aware of. And that's just really awesome. I'm impressed with that already. And talking about this battery, it's made of like that durable material that Sadio just does so well with. It's like a polycarbonate material, but it's like the almost the best I've ever really used. It's like the same material as the surface case that they kind of use. Here on the back is the kickstand and I have always just really liked their kickstands. It's metal, it's durable, it's not cheap at all and it's spring-loaded and it's magnetic to help keep it in place. So I've just always really liked their kickstands. So enough talking about this without the case installed. Let's go ahead and get it put on. First thing is since we discovered that it's going to replace the back cover, we're going to take the back cover off. So it's going to more than likely just install just like a snap-on case. Just going to work your way around the edges. The edge is raised above the screen, which is cool because you know if you drop it or something like that and the flap comes flying open, you know you still have some protection there. You're going to get still the four corner protection. I always like that four corner protection because most drops happen on the corners. So once we get this all closed up, let's take a look on the back. Very precise cutout for the camera. Get your precise cutout for the power button. Now here on the side, I'm going to have to kind of feel around for the volume controls, but that's not an issue for me. When you open it, it's still you know fully accessible. You can still get to it just fine. Most importantly for a note device is that you have your access to your S Pen. Very easy to get to. So I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and open this up. Now you're going to get the sleep-wake options. So I like that. Very cool. Let's go ahead and take this tab off. <laughs> That's very cool. They got a tab on top of a tab, so definitely Be sure you take off both, and so there you go. Okay, so let's go ahead and test the power button and see. Oh, that's pretty sweet. The reason why I say it's sweet because I don't have the stock TouchWiz launcher or even the lock screen installed on this. This is dynamic notifications. This is the Moto X replica uh, lock screen. So it's really cool that it still activates with that. You still get the sleep wake, and so let's see what's what's here. Let's slide that. That's really cool. I've never had an S window, so I'm like actually really excited about this. This is the first time I've ever had one that had the cutout, the S view, and all that kind of stuff. So it looks really sweet. Like that's awesome. It's like it's almost like a different phone, but that's cool. So we got the camera, action memo, 
uh, music player, and that's it, but that's really cool, that's awesome, and it's responsive, so that's neat. Uh, so while we're here at the top, you got a speaker cutout and so you got the notification light uh, cut out here so you don't miss those flashes. Guys, this is I really like this case a lot. Um, the difference with like the Ledger and the other cases is that be I guess because this has the, the S view, you're not going to get your card slots like you do on the other Ledgers. Um, it was like a wallet style, you got like a little card slot on the other ones, but that's cool. Like this has more functionality. It's still very thin. Like I love how thin this is. I really like how it replaces the back cover. One, it you know you can preserve this one. It stays nice, and you have a case now, and it's minimal. It's I think this yeah, this is just really cool. Um, pardon my excitedness. I think this would be a very good companion. Uh, the kickstand. That works pretty cool. I'm real curious. Let's see something. Uh, it doesn't change the landscape, but that's that's fine. But when you want to watch a movie or a video clip or something like that, you know, you can just flip this open and you got yourself a nice viewing angle. And it actually, just kind of depends how you like to do your FaceTime chats. This ain't too bad of an angle for that either. So just really cool. Just a lot of options for just a small case. I really love how it. I really love how it's small, the front cover is thin, the kickstand is as good as the rest of the Sadio, the cutouts are fine, I like the material a lot, and like I really, I'm digging this uh, S view, this is just really cool, I like it a lot, this is just really neat. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, like do you like this case, is this something that you would like to have installed on your Note 3? If you thought that this video was helpful to you, please give a nice thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do so so you can see more videos like this. Alright, one second before you leave, I wanted to show you something that I discovered right after I started taking photographs is that you get a plus and minus sign for the volume rocker so that helps you locate it better instead of trying to guess where the volume rocker is at. So it's really cool. I didn't notice that at first so I thought it was worth pointing out. Alright guys. This time, see you later.